Apple's Sides Curve features, also known as using additional screen with your MacBook Pro, is quite fascinating. Adding the new screen to your MacBook Pro not only gives you the extra room, but also makes your works even simpler. Well, a lot of you may or may not know the way of using the side curve with your MacBook Pro, or even if you know how to use that and you're getting this pop-up every time you're just trying to connect them, or if you're unable to use these side curve features with your MacBook Pro, stay tuned with this video because we're about to explore all the things that you need to know to use these side curve features with your MacBook Pro with any other iPad you have. Before you continue the process, be sure to turn on your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for both your MacBook Pro and your iPad for doing this process. At the same time, be sure to check your Apple ID because your both devices should be using the same Apple ID for being able to use the sidecar features for your devices. And third of all, on your iPad, all you want to do is just go ahead and tap your settings, scroll down to your general, and then simply tap AirPlay and handoff. And here, make sure your automatic airplays to TB should be automatic and just go ahead and turn on your handoff features from here as well for being able to use these sidecar features for your iPad with your MacBook Pro. Now to use the sidecar features with your MacBook Pro, the first place you want to go is your Apple logo. Click on there, come down here and click on your system preference. Now once you come along here, you're going to see this option called sidecar. Click on there and then you're going to get a pop-up window and it's going to be looking like that. Now here, uh, if you click right here called select device and then it's going to give you the device that you might have around your MacBook Pro. Now we have two iPad right on our left and right and here we will choose one. Now keep that in mind, you cannot use more than one iPad with your MacBook Pro. So we'll simply choose iPad here and just in a bit it's going to be connected. Now let me just go ahead and explain you a bit about this third section. The first is the show sidebar, okay? Now you can choose your sidebar either left or right. Now here you can choose depending on where you want to place your iPad and second one is actually show the touch bar. You can choose top to bottom and lastly it's, uh, it's enabled the double tap on this Apple Pencil. You can use the Apple Pencil if you want. Now once you've connected as you guys can see there's a one thing is going on right now and I can use it the way I want and there's another features if I come right here and then click on this logo and click on this little arrow button here, you're gonna see much more option here. First, the mirror built-in retina display. Now if you click here, then you're gonna see exactly the same thing is going on on your both monitor, okay, on your MacBook Pro and your iPad as well. And it looks great, especially this one actually works as a screen mirroring, okay? And if I come down here, if I go to the same spot, and if I click here as a separate display, then boom, this is how you can use that. Okay, let me just do some work. Let me open up a tab here. And I actually can drag it to the left and right wherever I want. So this is really an amazing feature to use your MacBook Pro, especially if you want to add an additional monitor or let's say a iPad with your MacBook Pro and this is how you can do it. If you're done with this process, you can click on your Apple logo, come to the same place where your sidecar is located, click on there and then simply click disconnect. Here your iPad is going to be disconnected from a device. Now you're on your MacBook Pro and this is how it works. Hope you find this video useful for yourself in terms of learning or knowing how you can use your sidecar features with your MacBook Pro with M on chip. If you find this video useful by any means, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching this video guys and we will talk to you all soon.